Hey there, welcome to the ABC Networking YouTube channel. And uh, today I'm covering a post on Airheads. So this morning I found a question from uh, Jason who was uh, building custom uh, skins on ClearPass. So um, he found that there are custom skins in ClearPass. Um, however, um, he created a big part of the page. Uh, which is all in blue and he found that here this part um, which is uh, part of the uh, clear pass guest it has a gray uh, color and he asks how can i change that so i decided to record uh, some content uh, to make this uh, clear um, because there are very nice tools built in into the google chrome browser um, I created a very simple, similar page um, where I have uh, an Aruba logo in uh, in orange, uh, and you see this uh, bar is indeed in grey. So the question is, how can we change how these fields uh, look like? And the nice thing is that Google Chrome has a very nice uh, tools built in to uh, to adjust uh, and to uh, create custom uh, custom skinning. Uh, so what I now type is Control Shift I, which brings up the developer tools. So you can see in this page. Uh, let's make it a bit larger, a bit larger. Um, so uh, here we can see the HTML code, and as you can see, uh, when I uh, hover over the HTML code, uh, you can see which part of the web page on the left uh, corresponds to this code and. Here is a very nice uh, uh, selector. So when I press this one and uh, I want to adjust, for example, this um, uh, this bar, this top bar, you can see this has a uh, so-called CSS class attached to it, uh, which is called NWA top. Um, and when I click on it, you can see here in the HTML uh, that it has an uh, uh, NW to, uh, NWA top class and here on the right side we can see that this is in a uh, header so th is for header and uh, here we can see um, what is uh, set to this class so um, you can see that there is a font size uh, we can uh, make this font size bigger and you see that uh, immediately on the left side uh, it responds and uh, corresponds to uh, what we change um, what did we want to change is uh, that we want to change the colors uh, of this bar. And uh, here we can see the background color, um, which is uh, this. So there are uh, a lot of uh, uh, color pickers that will create you the uh, RGB. So this uh, first part is the red, uh, yellow, uh, red, green and uh, blue uh, component. Um, which will make uh, that uh, all zeros will be black and uh, for example if we want to create something uh, orange um, it's about uh, this so uh, with a lot of red uh, some green and uh, no blue and if we uh, change this um, you can see uh, indeed it's uh, selected uh, orange Although we don't see the bar on the left uh, change, it's still uh, gray. And that's because there is a background image attached to that. And here by uh, unplugging this, uh, this V, this checkbox, uh, we can remove that uh, image. So if you want to make this, uh, this bar uh, orange, uh, we need to remove the background image and we can change the background color. Um, if we do have uh, nice images uh, that can uh, make that uh, nice gradient, uh, we can put it in uh, there. But we see we have two uh, things here. Uh, the background color is changed and the background image is removed. And we can uh, set that as a class. So uh, it's th.nwa top. And then we have the curly brace open, just like you see it uh, uh, above. And then uh, we say background, background color, uh, colon, pound sign, FF, 800, semicolon. And uh, we say here background image. 
and we set that to none and then the curly brace close so if we have this code we can uh, insert that in uh, clearpass so i use the uh, plugin manager here and i use the um, the custom skin 2 for this uh, page that we just saw and here we see uh, the css styles and i can insert here the uh, th uh, nwa top uh, image and let's see if that works so we save the configuration now we reload the page here and uh, indeed we can see that it uh, has turned orange here and uh, we can see that we overridden here the nwa top um, um, image um, and uh, the color if we want to change other colors uh, for example uh, here we see this is nwa at bottom and here it's nwa left um, for example um, if we want to make this a, a very nice uh, oh, let's turn this off and then let's do this um, close to blue so make this b zero b zero oh it's a bit purple um but it's a very nice uh, nice color of course if you're a graphic designer you probably uh, will find out better um better colors and here we can put in and uh, th and then and w a bottom and uh, in the same time with a comma and W A left so that's the left part and a username and under password and uh, there we can uh, put the same kind of code so let's copy this copy paste and then here I have that very nice purple color And uh, let's stick this in to the plugin configuration. Let's see, there is my custom skin. And replace this. And let's see if that worked. And yes, uh, we now see that the top bar uh, went orange and uh, the other bars uh, went into purple. Of course, this is very dependent on your design and uh, your branding colors. Uh, so please have a web developer uh, help you in this. Um, but at least you know how to change things, uh, where to find it and how to use Google Chrome to uh, find the correct classes and uh, how to uh, yeah, very simply adjust them hope this was useful um, please leave your comments under the youtube video uh, and uh, thank you for listening and viewing abc networking today